Hey bosses, it's Nina. It is time for a free infographic maker review. I did say free. So stay tuned as I go through an overview of Vingage, and I hope I'm saying it right, um, Vingage um, and their features. Vingage is an infographic maker. I'm just gonna scroll down the page so you can see exactly what's in here. Um, I've checked it out and not only can you make infographics, but you can make book covers, you can make presentation, it's a free chart maker online. It's, you know, um, it'd be great for teachers, um, different templates and things like that. Any kind of um, software you need to create infographics. It actually has a lot of those features in here. They do have a free version as well as a paid version. I do have the premium um, version thanks to Vingage who reached out. Um, and I wanted to take some time to actually log in and check it out before I shared it with you. So give me a second. All right, I'm logged in. So I use my Google login to log in. Um, so they do have single sign on through Facebook or Google, which I love, but we're gonna jump through this. And first I want you to look at the free templates they have. And I believe there's an icon, why can't I see it? There it is. There's a business icon and premium. So you'll be able to tell the difference between the free items and the um, actual in-depth um, kind of um, paid versions. In addition to that, if you look at the bottom, as you're going through this, you'll see beginner, intermediate. Um, and so you can determine if you're one of those people who are like, I can do Canva and that's about it and I could barely do that, then this might be um, things to kind of keep you in the beginner realm. Um, if you wanna do more advanced ones, it actually just gives you that in advance. So keep that in mind as you're looking. The other thing is you do have the availability to preview them. So let's actually preview something that's fun. You can preview each of these here so you can see exactly what it looks like and kind of how um, it would turn out. Okay, and ex it, I wanna point this out. Ignore some of these things like this. That's my own kind of Pinterest things that I have. Those buttons will not show up for you. They do have support in the lower right hand corner. They're actually pretty cool. Um, they've answered a couple questions for me and they're really nice people. So anyways, let's get started. Forget all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, um, they have recommended infographics. And if you haven't worked with infographics before, um, main ways you would use these, Pinterest is a great place to actually post your infographics. Here's a tip. When you create a blog, create an infographic, and this is me telling you to do what I say, not as I do. I used to create infographics, but um, I stopped a while back. So create an infographic along with your thumbnail, <clears throat> excuse me, on your blog, and then pin it to Pinterest. And then that way, as you're scrolling by, you can actually see a lot of um, items as you're going through. Sorry, it will show up a lot as people are scrolling through. Okay. Here are the recommended items. Again, you can look for beginner and kind of scroll through. Here are some of the featured templates. I like these kind of things where they're kind of like the little bubbles and this, this is just really bright. Um, there's different layouts. So if you look here, you have a blank canvas and then you have different types of layouts and you could actually choose the layout rather than the type of infographic. So if you're a little bit more creative, I would say pick monkey status, um, then this might be something that you try. They do have beginner ones here, but they're actually going through the layouts um, instead of just the featured. And then you have all of the templates and you can go down. So notice for those of you that are looking for resumes, like the um, online resumes that look really nice, okay? They have the Kardashians up here. I thought this was so funny, but I'm gonna take one of these templates at one point when I'm doing my speaker thing. Don't take that idea. Um, some of these templates, I've seen something similar when people do them in um, Adobe Acrobat and um, not Acrobat, sorry, Photoshop and a couple of those other app, apps. But this is a great way to show off your resume if you're creative and you want to show some of your skills, right? In addition to that, for those of you that are looking for, where is it at, letterhead for your paper, so it's not just infographics. There's a lot of things that you can do for your business here, right? Proposals, 
really, really nice. Okay, I'll let you scroll through this. The last thing I just want to show you before we start is that you can do ebook covers. Ha ha ha. Right? So you have ebook covers that you can actually create in here also. And actually, let's go up. I want to do an infographic though. So we'll go up here. Um, infographics are split into different categories. I'm just going to go to a timeline. I think that's the one that I liked. Yes, I do like these. So you have the different timelines. I'm going to use this one. I'll go to create. Let's make sure they still have. There we go. I think this is the account they have premium. Yep. Okay. This is pretty simple. There's elements on the left hand side. And then in the middle, you basically point, click and change. Right. So on your left hand side, there's text. Little text boxes, things like that. You can add different items. You can add icons. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I would suggest just going in here and editing the information. So let's start with August. This is my birthday. Leo's run the house. Or should I say world, right? Um, in the comments, let me know if you're a Leo. Shout at me. If you're not, you can leave what you are too. Just know that we're Leos. Okay, as we're going through, you basically are just pointing and clicking. Notice some of these have stars on them and their icons, and it is kind of showing you that you can search for ad um, additional icons and shapes and symbols. I do want you to take a look at all of these items. So there's academic. I said in the beginning, if you're a teacher, this might be good for you and your students. I know a lot of people teach online. There's animals, household items. So I would search, I'm just gonna search for coffee. Yay. Okay. So let's move over coffee. And you guys, I haven't kind of decided what I wanted to do. I'm doing this as we're going through. So um, I would do that and notice they, I love when they have the lines because then I can make sure it lines up, but I'm going to change it. So it's here. Notice here, you can also sort by colors and all these other things. But in this case, I have added my item. And at the top, there's a couple of things you can do. I can copy it. So if I want to add these on each of the months, let's go ahead and delete the stars. They're boring. I'll do the same thing. Right? You get the idea. Keep in mind that at the top here, you can change. Let's see, I don't know, timeline, right? And it's automatically saving up here. There is an option to undo. So if you make a change or on, on accident, I'm just going to zoom out here. And I can turn off the snap guidelines. Those are the ones where when I was moving, it was actually showing me where I was. But I actually like those, so I'm going to keep those on. There are layers, and let me see... Was it this one? Let me see. There they go. So I can move this backwards um, or forward, depending on what I need for the layers. Let's go all the way back and all the way forward. Okay. So these are things that you should be used to. Um, up here at the top, you can zoom in. There's a lot of different items um, that you can use to kind of switch it back and forth. I just like it's easy. So I'm going to go in here. Now, I am going to be honest. There was something I didn't like and I'll tell you when I get there um, because I can't remember right now I put in my brand colors actually I didn't want that I did a control Z FYI to undo um, and I don't know there it goes it did undo it so I'm going to move this and select this and change this to my brand colors. Okay. And then I'm going to move this over here. So changing the colors, changing the objects, those are pretty easy, right? You're going through and you basically just double click on things and change them. Everything should be under here. And I think that's what it was, the fonts. Um, I do like this, but there's certain fonts that I like that weren't included, and I couldn't use my own fonts um, 
So I do like that you can request a font and you would actually um, paste the link there. But just keep in mind, if your font isn't there, they do allow you to um, request it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the settings. You can actually change the size and also um, whether it's landscape or if it's portrait and also all of the settings here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this so people can see this. Notice there's a community that you can publish to. Okay, and then you have additional items. You can share this. Um, what I do like is I can embed this in my site. I would say, sorry, don't do this. If you're gonna do this, download it and have people come back to your site, right? You don't want this image embedded and um, uh, you don't want the backlink to go to them. You actually wanna download it, upload it to your site. And I've, I haven't used the interactive PDF, so I don't know, that might be kind of the, um, the movie PDF, or excuse me, movie infographics they were, um, a lot of people are talking about, okay? Um, navigation, I'm actually gonna just move back over to my design. Now you can go in and see, there you go. They're at it right now. Um, I can go into my brand and I know there's certain things. I haven't actually built out my brand identity. I'm actually gonna do that in a separate video. I want to do a first look at that. So if you wanna know how to build this out, let me know. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to create infographics. Also, if you wanna know more about infographics, let me know, I will do a series of videos, but this is an app I think that's worth checking out. It's a free infographic maker and um, chart maker and publisher. And there's a lot of things that you can do even if you're at the beginner mode. If you have any questions, leave them below, but make sure you click on my link below. Um, I do get a small percentage for referring um, and I will continue to make these videos. I do like this app. I think it's cool. I'm just waiting to figure out at what areas I'm going to use it. I am going to cr create a few infographics. I've actually used it not for social media. I've actually used it for some presentations and some executive summaries that I've created rather than um, social media. Um, I know it's geared towards infographics and things like that, but when you need to make some of these other items, it's just a quick way to create graphics. Okay, ciao for now.